Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back, John. It's time for us to catch up with one of our regular contributors, Bill Jordan of Embrace the Boom. Hi, guys. Welcome hey, from Bill. the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Well, you know what? Uh, welcome to Southern California. Um, hey, Bill, I was uh, just looking at the uh, calendar, and it's almost time to reset the clocks. Uh, and I want to know why. Finally, I'm old enough to ask why. Why have I been doing this all my all right. life? And I've said, you know what? Probably the best person in the world to ask this is Bill Jordan. <laughs> Bill knows everything. Yeah, he well, does. No, here, here's the thing. Uh, and I'm going to give you, you know, I love the documentaries about movies and TV shows and musical groups, all the behind the scenes stuff. As you're watching this, <clears throat> you may not realize that sometimes these guys and I talk before we do this. So uh, John gave me a homework assignment. Look into Daylight Saving Time and find out how this thing even came about. I went to Wikipedia. It would take me the whole year to read the article. It's gigantic. I think the bottom line on this is that people doing the typical nine to five job wanted more light at the end of their workday, not before the workday. And that's kind, that's part of why that has come about. But also, as I was sharing with John, too, it's kind of like uh, only the government would take a blanket, cut a foot off the top of it, sew it to the bottom of it and tell you you got a longer blanket. <laughs> I like it. I like daylight saving. Time. Do you really? Why? What's the difference? Um, well, one, I like the longer days anyway. I mean, they're longer days given spring and summer just by the way the earth. Wait a minute. Rotates. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The days get longer anyway, whether you cut the, the, the blanket at the top or the bottom. So really. Yeah. And all, and all you'd have to do is get up earlier if you want the light. You ask me a question. I'm trying to tell you why I like it. <laughs> I didn't know I was walking into an ambush. Uh, I just like it. We get more, we get, I'll tell you what, I've got a yard that's a little under an acre and come spring and summer, it is a handful. We're always doing something out in the yard. Uh, what I don't like about it staying staying uh, light till about nine o'clock here is that we often don't eat dinner till nine o'clock because we're outside doing something. Um, by the time, now here as we're getting ready to get going, I did a little, uh, uh, yard treatment for some crabgrass, but by the time I tell you what, by the time September comes, I am tired of mowing that lawn, and the idea of a condominium sounds really good to me. <laughs> I'm serious. And and that's when the 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 days get shorter, and it gets dark earlier, and I go into a depression. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know what? Every year, in the last few years, and maybe it's an age thing. It's like my body never acclimates to getting dark at 5, 5.30. It never does. We were sitting, I mean, it's already obviously lighter later now. But my wife last night, it was 9.45 or something. She said, what time is it? I said, you know, it's 9.45. She said, it feels like it's 11.30. Yeah. The whole winter, you feel it's later than it is. Here's the thing I've got, guys. And I used to mess with people, and that's one of my hobbies is messing with people. When I used to be on the radio, anytime the time would change, you know, spring forward, fall back. And, but logically that is backwards. If I come around the corner and there's a snake there or something surprises me, I spring back. If I trip and fall, I fall forward. Does that help? Actually, it really, really is a lot more confusing. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe of a certain age, you're a person of a certain age. Okay, uh, and you embrace that. So, I spring back. So for certain people of a certain age who embrace that, what are the kind of issues that really affect boomers more than they affect anybody else? Are there any particular things? Like, I, I know that my sleep patterns get all messed up. Uh, do you find that at all? I, I really don't because I don't really have a set schedule. It's not like I'm going to work anymore. I'm, I'm more of an entrepreneur doing my own thing. So, yeah, I kind of laugh when people say, you're going to lose an hour of sleep. And I, pff, how do you figure that? <laughs> That's not going to happen. Um, and I like getting up early anyway. So I, I'm good with that. So for me, 
Um, now, when I was working and they would do the time change, yeah, that would throw me off uh, for a good week, probably getting acclimated uh, to whether it be coming or going, you know, forward well, then, or backward. But anymore, to, given, uh, given my lifestyle now as semi-retired, it, it really doesn't affect me. Then we should all move to Hawaii or Arizona where they don't honor daylight savings time. Right. I tell you what, Arizona, Arizona always sounds good. We love yeah. been a couple of times. I love Arizona. But yeah. uh, and taking it back to a bit of a serious note, uh, John sent out this thing. So I actually did some research. OK, I went to Dr. Internet, uh, Dr. Google, and um, uh, it seems as if for seniors, particularly for uh, boomers, that uh, the change of the sleep patterns for the first week or two, people have more accidents. Uh, wow. They have more heart attacks, just as a general thing. So they're, unless you prepare for it, and you can prepare for it by maybe uh, going to sleep like 10 or 15 minutes earlier every night, uh, be, at least these are some of the recommendations. So you're looking at it in a, uh, in a very uh, uh, humorous way, uh, but uh, have you had any of these things happen to you where you just, you're really messed up for four or five days? No, I really haven't. Now, I mean, when you say really messed up, I may be, again, your body clock, you know, it takes time to acclimate. If you fly, <laughs> you're talking to a guy here who gets jet lag flying north to south. <laughs> Just because I'm a, I'm a stressed out traveler. I get a little, I'm a nervous traveler. But, you know, like if you fly to uh, Europe, if you fly to London, we've been to London a few times and it's a five hour time difference. They say when you get back, if you've stayed for an extended time, it will take you one day per hour of time change to get reacclimated to your own time zone. So by that math, you would think you would be acclimated in a day to the time change, and that's not the case. I don't know why that is, but that's not the case. But I've never had any serious side effects or ramification from a time change uh, other than extreme glee when it's lighter later. Yeah, I think that's the good thing. For me, it's uh, it's not about the time change. It's about uh, the sunlight getting, the days getting longer and more sunlight. I really, and in fact, I think all of us human beings are really a phototropic, and that is we, I, I, we I, move to the light. I, I, I think I definitely get uh, seasonal affected disorder uh, come January, <laughs> February, where around here, I mean, you'll we'll run into, typically there'll be a, a period of time where there's like a week of rain and 40 degrees, and I just, I mean, it just drains my energy. When I get sun on me, that vitamin D, natural vitamin D, yep, yep. and I just, I feel better, I think better, Life is just better, as I say, I, with a little sun on the grape. I get a little sun on my grape. It's like a uh, solar energy collector. It is. It's um, good for you. It's I just feel you. better. Well, on that high note, I'm going to say thanks and goodbye because <laughs> I, really I'm bored. I'm bored with the idea of daylight savings time. It's going to be here in a week, and I'll deal with it then. I don't know. I don't know. But, anyway, Bill, thank but, you. It's but, always but John, great to hear you. Before we thank him, okay? Yes. The proper way to thank him is to all raise our cup and say, Oh, oh Bill, oh. help us embrace the boom. God bless you. Yeah, always this is a little uh, thank you. Uh, this is a little kind of a movement I've started as we talk about, you know, getting a little bit older. If you were born between 1946 and 1964, then you are by definition a baby boomer. And I just kind of got tired after a while of hearing people complain about the negatives about growing older. And certainly there are challenges to it, but there's still good stuff about it as well. So I'm just trying to empower and encourage and inspire baby boomers to live their best life. And as I say, you know, embrace the boom, uh, kind of live your life, forget your age and embrace the boom. Bill, and, tell us, uh, yeah, tell right, us where, right, where yeah. we can get a mug. Right. All right. Well, I've got a website. It's a Shopify website, actually. It's uh, Bill Jordan. Jordan spelled with an A like my cousin Michael. Bill Jordan, embrace the boom dot com. And you can get these mugs free shipping with a purchase of three or more. And I get them out like lickety split like the next day. Um, they go out pretty quickly, typically like two day shipping. Also, there are direct links to my 15 part video series that's connected to uh, YouTube. I've got a YouTube channel for that. And it's just 15 kind of tips or practices, I call them, that when I embrace them, 
um, I live a better life. And some of it is stuff we've heard all our lives, but maybe we need to think about it again or think about these things in a different way. And I, I really do believe that if you do these things, I know it works for me. Uh, I just, I lead a better, more peaceful and calmer life. Well, thank you, so, Bill. And um, we look forward to uh, speaking to you again soon. I love being with you guys. Thank you for having me on. Okay. Good. Take care, Bill. Take care. Bye. See y'all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.